the night Wanting a place to hide This weary soul His backbone And I tried with all my mind I just can't win the fight I'm slowly drifting A vagabond church family and everyone on Facebook who's able to join us. Uh, whether you're watching live now or re-watching later, we're just grateful that uh, we can come together, at least in this way, and uh, lift one another up in prayer. That's what our time is all about here, is about praying and connecting with God. Um, today I wanted to sing that song. It's called I Thank God by Maverick City Worship. I really like it. It's a fun one. Go look up their version. It's even more fun than than that. But it's just out of this attitude, every time we pray, um, at least here at First Church, almost every time we pray, we thank God um, because he's doing a good work in us. And so no matter where you're at, no matter what your prayer requests are, um, I, I pray that you'll also have a hint of gratitude in the midst of your prayers, that at least God hears your prayers. I'm joined by Denise Gomez here today. She is our student and children's ministry director. Um, she's going to share a devotional with us. I'm going to watch the comments, though, so if you have a prayer request, um, I'll add that to our prayer list before we, uh, before we share all of those that we've collected in the last week. So anyway, here's Denise. Well, hi. I want to go ahead and share something with you today. I was talking to someone and they said a word that I really like. It's a lot more common in Spanish than in English and it's the word contentment. I really like this word and what it means. And the meaning is, hold on. It's a state of being satisfied or at peace with one's circumstances and with whatever you have or whatever is going on in your life. So it's being satisfied and peaceful. So I want to go ahead and read from Philippians 4, 11 through 13. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and know how to abound. And in every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So let's go ahead and talk about contentment a little bit more. So being content does not mean being lazy or not doing anything or being a conformist or just, you know, accepting whatever we get that's how life it is, you know, I'll just take it. That's not what contentment is. That's, um, doesn't mean you don't have to be striving for better things. 
um, because I know people, they have a lot of things and they are still very discontent. So it has nothing to do with what you have or don't have, with what you do or don't do. Discontentment, I mean, contentment is being at peace. Um, you can be content and have ambitious, ambitions, I'm sorry. And, you know, we can strive to have more, we can strive to have better, we can, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. The thing that makes us, makes it wrong is why do we want to have more? Why do we want to have better? Is it because we're trying to fill a void? Is it because we think if we have better or more, our lives are going to be better, we're going to be happier? We're, if that's the reason you want more, then that's the wrong reasons. And that's just gonna cause you to be discontent. But if you want more, you wanna better yourself, you want, wanna have the best or, you know, because you wanna be a better person to serve God, because you wanna have plenty to give to others, because you wanna have the resources to expand God's kingdom, then you'll find contentment even when being ambitious. And I really, really like that word, being content with whatever you have. When you have a lot, be content with that. When you don't have enough, uh, be content. And we get, through, we get to be content when we are grateful, when we um, know that whatever we have is a gift from God. So I want to go ahead and invite you to think about this. Uh, there's another verse that I really enjoy, and it's really short, but it's very powerful. But godliness with contentment, it's a great gain. So when we strive to be godly and we're happy about it or content about it, we'll gain a lot. Um, let's not try to be holy because we think, you know, that's the right thing to do and we don't want to go to hell. You know, let's be content when we look for godliness in our lives. All right, I'll let Micah read the prayer request. Thanks, Denise. Uh, several prayers today, and as usual, uh, whether you're watching live and commenting now or we're commenting later, continue to share your prayers and we will add them to our list and continue to pray. But first, here from Peg, prayers for everyone that was hit real hard with the hail and wind. Um, a couple anonymous prayers here. First for Zach. He had gallbladder surgery on Friday and has major, has had major complications since. Uh, he's got a feeding tube. Uh, he broke his neck 30 years ago and has been in a wheelchair since. So lots and lots of complications there. This one is for uh, someone praying for a new job and strength to handle the stress of their current position. Pat asked for prayers for her three great nephews heading off to college soon and starting their new lives, and for all college students. We have a lot of college kids and career age, just that start, fresh start uh, kids. So I appreciate per Pat just including all of them. I mean, we graduated, what, 17, 16? Uh, celebrated that many in the, in the spring that graduated from high school. So lots and lots of people to be praying, praying for. Dennis and Sharon asked for prayers for another daughter of theirs who's been diagnosed with cancer. So sorry to hear that. Becca asked for prayers for healing for Chad. Peace for Becky and her family with her mom in heaven now. Wendy asked for prayers for Nate in uh, basic training. Thanksgiving for being accepted into the nursing program for next spring as well. So congratulations, Wendy. That's awesome. Um, I might just add prayers for safe travel today for Pastor Mike. He's doing some uh, church administrative council foundation work. I don't know exactly, but it's on the other end of the state. So we had to drive there and back today. So that's what Pastor Mike's doing. So prayers for safe travel and that God's work would be done. Megan asked for prayers for her neighbor who broke his ankle at work and is back at home after a long hospital stay. Robin asked for prayers for Karen and family as they journey through their grief. Prayers of thanksgiving for her granddaughter and grandson's birthday. Misty asked for prayers for friends and family and finding paths forward. Cindy asked for prayers for Jason, Max, Sam, Mary Lynn, Jody, John Dean, and Carla. Thankful prayers, Josh's surgery went good and now he's healing. That's excellent. 
Gay asked for prayers for Joshua's family as they are grieving his passing. I know that was a hard and tough situation. Um, so continued prayers there for everyone involved. Mary Lynn asked for prayers for her brother Mike, prayers for the Shepherd family, prayers for our church family. Thank you, Mary Lynn. Linda asked for prayers for everyone affected by the high temperatures and those who work outdoor jobs that God would protect them from illness and keep them safe. Stacy asked for prayers for Marvin. He has a nasty chest cold. Karen asked for prayers for her sister, Sandy. Samantha asked for prayers um, as she has to have part of her colon removed. Diette asks for prayers for our freedom. Britt uh, shares another prayer for, it would be her aunt, Karen's sister, Sandy, uh, battling cancer. Peace among the chaos that comes with being a working mother, and that one's for Britt as well. Martha asks for prayers for safe safety for everyone traveling. Sarah asks for prayers for her granddaughter's surgery on Thursday. Marlene asks for prayers for her grandson, who is still in the ICU at Bryan East. That's coming up on like four weeks now, if, if I'm keeping track right. And from the website, David shares his prayers for his aunts, his sisters, um, all of his family, his brother Robert, for his violin teacher, uh, for his choir director. I think that's me. I always appreciate David praying for me. He says he loves his job at Applebee's. He uh, misses his neighbor lady and grandma and his mom. He loves his church family. Also lists prayers for friends like Mary Lynn and Tommy. Also asks for prayers for Mark and his piano teacher. Um and for him to be kept in his prayers as well. So thank you for prayer and praying. And then also Phil, uh, we just have prayed with him. I don't know that we've ever met him though, but from the website, he prays for his mom uh, and just some of the physical pain that comes with aging, um, prayers for excellent health, and prayers for financial burdens to be relieved. That's an important prayer, maybe for all of us to consider. Sometimes it's, it's important to pray over our finances. Also asks for salvation for his Uncle Steve and Aunt Jackie, um, and also for his mom's boyfriend, Joe, who has cancer. So uh, Phil also asks for prayers for himself, for God to bless his life, and to bless his relationships. So we have a lot to be praying about, and I, I loved it. There's a cool little theme coming in our prayers today that no matter where we're at, no matter what we're doing, we can be content with the Holy Spirit while we strive to leave the spiritual legacy that we're called to leave. That's what Denise was sharing. That's what has come through in a lot of our prayers, prayers of gratitude, recognizing God at work in our lives. And so with that, I'm going to invite us into a time of prayer. Again, Denise will lead us. Will you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, we are here today um, together asking you for all the prayer requests that were uh, read out loud. We want to go ahead and ask you for healing in our bodies. Everyone who needs it, uh, we know you are the healer. We know you are all powerful and we trust that you take care of us. We want to go ahead and ask for emotional healing. If anyone's going through anxiety or worried or anything of that type, uh, I ask you for peace. I ask you to go ahead and give them the peace they need um, so they can heal soon and they can put their trust in you. Lord, I also want to go ahead and ask for anyone that's struggling financially. Um, many times we're not aware. Many times it's just um, a load they carry on their own, but you know it. And I ask you to provide to them in a miraculous way that they can know it was you providing, uh, that there will be no doubt that it was you. Um, thank you for your provision. Lord, and also for all of us that need your guidance and your direction. Some of us find ourselves in a situation where we don't know what to do. We don't know what's best, or we just simply don't know what you want for us. And just... Give us direction. Let us know what is it that you want. Um, we trust you. You know what's best for us. And you see the whole picture. So help us to trust you. Thank you for 
for this wonderful, wonderful church family. Thank you for, um, because they're always there for each other. They're always there taking care of all of us. And we're just so grateful for them. I ask you for blessings and protection over all of our lives. And we thank you so much for everything you do. Amen. All right. And I think I give it back to Micah. Or you can just say thanks for praying with us. Well, then thanks for praying with us. We'll see you next week. <laughs>